Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your weekly update on Apple. Here we have Apple on a monthly time frame and we can see that Apple went up like crazy and then I'll show you later but oh and if you see this these texts that appear here are my Promising Trader stocks candle scanner. I'm creating a pine script for um, trading view. So far I'm scanning hammers, dodges and separating lines which actually with Apple we will see very shortly. Um, still uh, on alpha, still in development so I'm, I'm not uh, you will not see many many uh, patterns, just these and also the hammer needs a little bit of fixing in my opinion but anyway nonetheless um, I'm doing it. So, if we draw the channel, we will see that here Apple went completely outside the channel and we will see it shortly. I'm just hiding all the drawings because I wanted to see the global picture. The global picture shows Apple going up, RSI going down. That's it. So, to me, this is a bearish uh, looking for Apple at the moment. So, I mean, a potential reversal incoming, definitely a divergence with the signals and also a loss in volume with respect to the previous years because this is a monthly view now let's go with the mess that I like to make when I do my analysis and ah, let me make everything orange no not everything so let me just the channel I make it orange I'm, I'm talking about the channel and make the channel orange now as I was saying we have Apple that stayed within this channel for quite a while and I'm gonna take you there in a second oh by the way this is not financial this is not trading this is not investing advice these are just my mere observations and speculations towards this market it's very dangerous and you may lose all your money whenever you put your money in any securities I'm never going to tell you what to do, what to do with your money I'm just going to tell you what I think Apple in this case is going to do but I'm never going to tell you what you, what you should do with your money and you must do your own due diligence every time somebody tells you what to do with your money or every, try, every time you, you watch these videos about money because ultimately it's you losing your money so never trust anyone online who tells you what to do with your money and in general never trust anyone who tells you what to do with your money above all if these people have interests I have no interests with Apple I don't really care I just want to make money out of Apple <laughs> but yeah I'm not gonna tell you anyway what to do with your money must do your own due diligence please if you like and enjoy these videos ask, I ask you to like and share them and to subscribe to the channel but not only to subscribe but also to turn on the little bell icon because if you do you would really support me tremendously with my YouTube channel uh, generating more views and more subscribers which is ultimately why I made this channel I want to make it popular so please if you enjoy that just do that and said so also you nothing that's it uh, I start with my analysis or actually I resume the analysis so we have this and actually we can confirm things here already you see this is a, a an evening star and it generates some resistance and it drops then we have a bullish harami at support boom went up and then the doji is not necessarily a reversal signal itself but it tells you that possibly things are going to invert because the market is tired and then what do we have? a very sharami boom we have here a hammer and according to what I've read in the Steve Nissan's book as long as there is not a closure below the lower shadow of the hammer this is a reversal signal in fact Apple never closed below the lower shadow of this hammer it went very close to closing there but it never closed and in fact we had the reversal and again here we have see how beautiful candlesticks work that's why I'm, I'm investing time in candlesticks they are really powerful 
and then we had this breakout here. This breakout usually means two things. It, it's a, an out of steam breakout or, or it is a, a real breakout from booze that goes up. Now, Apple, Tesla, uh, Amazon, they are a little bit crazy in the exchange. They are amongst the most volatile, I believe. And uh, so it must be played with caution. But what I see here is a window. This breakout made this window. So it was very powerful. And then after that, Hanging Man confirmed reversal dropping. This is a reversal signal. It's a potential piercing line, but it's not very strong, quite frankly. It is not very strong. We wanted it to go halfway through this candle, and it didn't. But the thing that we have seen, which is the strongest signal in here, is that this window was closed denying this reversal, denying this breakout and in fact it went just within the channel and now it's again breaked out because this is another gap here, you see it opened here when it closed here and it closed immediately creating what? a bearish engulfing pattern and now we have another breakout and guess what's gonna happen next month? Well, I think this one is going to be closed again with a red candle creating an evening star. Okay, this is not happened, but that's what I foresee already. And we can confirm these price actions even with the candles. Now, yes, it's true. This one generated a higher high in RSI as well. But now we have another divergence. So this higher high, however, was still below 80, more or less like this. So going up, staying flat, divergence. This is a very long term thing because obviously this thing has happened like in 2015 and this is happening now four years later. So arguably this could not be valid okay uh, so it's a little risky now shorting tesla but even uh, tesla sorry apple but even going long is risky it's not extremely safe i mean i am in a position with apple at the moment i do have steam in this game and i'm not gonna tell you what i am doing with uh, with apple um so, uh, well, you know, I'm shorting it probably because I'm, I'm going to say it's, it's about to drop in my opinion. So, obviously, you would, you would think I'm shorting Apple. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, I may not short Apple. Um, even because here in the five movements is bullish. It crossed the 50 RSI and MACD is showing a potential reversal. But here we have divergence. RSI shows divergence. See, this price is lower than this. And RSI is more or less at the same high. So it's bouncing in, rather than going higher consistently like the price action. Now, let's go in the weekly. In the weekly, we will see the separating line. Look, this is a separating line. I'm going to go there in a second. So we also have these two lines that are now possibly showing a continuation pattern, which is a little bit confusing now. What do you think my position with Apple could be? <laughs> okay. Um, orange. Now, why are, is this triangle a continuation pattern? Because it's... Um, it's neither ascending, neither descending, so it's a neutral uh, pattern and Apple is generating new lower highs but also new higher lows so this is getting smaller and smaller and at a certain point it will need to either go up or go down 
and where do I think it's going to go? Well, at the moment, Apple on a weekly time frame has, uh, I wouldn't really say has crossed the 60. It has, but it's still on a flirting thing with me. We don't know if it's going to continue going up or going down next week, which is Monday. So yeah, and here we see a few interesting things as well. So the separating line, which as I said, is very rare. Well, I haven't said so, but it's a very rare pattern. Uh, maybe not in stocks. I've been trading cryptocurrencies, and this is not going to happen in cryptocurrencies. So what happens is this opens at the price, closes above, and then the the week after, in this case, closes uh, opens exactly where it opened the previous time. So all this is just voided. It opens here and goes down very beautiful and this is a reversal signal which is confirmed only as long as the price doesn't cross this line here okay which was already a potential resistance line that I spotted in the previous analysis that I made about Apple and actually, I'm going to make weekly updates on Apple and Tesla, okay? So, Apple on Sundays and Tesla on Saturdays. Then, what do we see here? So, reversal, boom, window. But the window, windows, too, were closed. However, we have this, all, this area here as well, which we're going to see in the shorter time frames. And so far, this area is um, an interesting and powerful resistance and it's not being broken you see to break it it needs to close above this resistance um, what else do we see we see MACD trending up again so it just did a bearish crossover and a bullish crossover in in the matter of three weeks and now again here now there is no higher high here uh, but it's definitely trending up, which is a little confusing. It's very confusing. Now, it's very risky to take any positions with Apple at the moment. But now, the interesting thing is also that the channel is being broken. Yes, yeah, not so much. And every time it's broken, this one represents a downtrend. And it, in fact, Apple closed exactly the week, exactly at this high. So what should we expect now to happen? Should we go up or down? Because it's a really in a crucial, look at this little triangle here. This is a crucial point for Apple. Next week we will see Apple reacting to this situation for sure. And probably Monday. Now, if we go in the daily. In the daily we see Apple flirting with the 60 RSI and also closing above it with a little bit of a rejection here and also not only that but we can see that why there is an uptrend here with this as the peak on RSI then Apple continues going up but RSI doesn't go up RSI looks like it's losing steam. MACD also looks like it's about to be crossed over from the bears. And what can we see in terms of price action? Well, definitely we can tell that the trend is bullish because the 233 is below everything. We can check also the other one. So this one is the shortest, the 8. This one is the longest, with 55 being the one halfway through. And in fact, it's bullish. It is bullish. But what we see here is this gap. This window here from the bears. Look, it opened here, it closed here, and then it opened here, and it closed here. It didn't manage to go all the way through. So it made this window here, this gap then it made several more gaps but they were all closed this one wasn't this one wasn't 
uh, last week there was an attempt to go higher than this but look it never managed to we had this this is a hanging man which however has no confirmation because the closure of the next candle was not below this and then there is a bearish harami at the bo at the top of an uptrend right or bearish engulfing sorry and then we have this shooting star so it this is this has happened on Friday uh, Apple tried it made a record actually it went above all the previous candles but it didn't it didn't last it and it went down so this window is still open now it's all a matter of seeing what happens next week when it opens the market because there could be a lot of newbies who who buys it and makes it even a gap at the opening but that doesn't mean that the that it will stay there I mean we need to see the whole date on Monday and see if there is a reversal or, or not I I feel that people could buy it but you know there are ways to find out whether a a gap is created by professional traders or uh, amateur traders and Actually, I'm not going to tell you what the reason is, but I will tell you if it is or not. And if you want to know the reason, I'm sorry. I, I don't do it for, for something bad, but there is people who sell their courses for this stuff, and I'm not going to tell you what I've learned in the course. Not because I paid for the course, but for respect towards them. If you want to learn, you must pay them, because that's the only source where I found out this. And it's in the Swing Trading Bundle, which also... Uh, comes with a link in my description from Steve Nism. Now th that website looks very old, and it's a little. The content is very good, but it's not presented very well. So you must overcome this uh, aesthetic aspect on the website. But then the content is very good. It's very valuable. I really liked it. So yeah, let's try to foresee what happens. Well, to me. Uh, this is a bearish signal to be honest and um, also shooting star here with this resistance here plus we have the window and um, but quite frankly i will if this window get closed with a closure on monday it must close it doesn't just need to open higher it must also stay higher than this at the end of the day for me to confirm that even the shooting star won't pose any so any resistance at that point. If this window is closed, it will go up. I don't even need to to see for any candle to close above this. If this window is closed, boom, go up. Now let's try to see in other time frames if there are other aspects that we can check. Well, this window is still valid even in the six hours. So, you know, during the six hours, you may understand whether or not if you have shorted, you should close before the closure of the day and maybe potentially protecting your capital if it keeps going up after the closure of this in the six hour time frame. Um, what we can see here is another shooting star, which again was not confirmed. No, well, actually, the shooting star doesn't need confirmation. Sorry, it's not a hanging man. Sorry, the shooting star. So again, we have a new resistance. We can also, if you want to, not to. If we don't have a high tolerance for risk, and we have shorted Apple, this could be the point where we decide not to continue anymore. Okay. So if it closes above it in the six hours then you don't even need to close the window if you want and just s close your your short position if you have one um, because yeah there is look there is this morning star as well in here which is obviously a a bullish uh, signal but it's not really on a downtrend and so to me it loses value in this case 
as a bullish uh, reversal because it's no reversal actually mm, but it could be a bullish signal indeed and in fact there was a, a little rally after that maybe all uh, now let's check the three hours in the three hours well the thing that we see I forgot to check on other time frames is that in the three hours the RSI is dropping there was a MACD crossover RSI in the five in the fifth in the five movements is about to cross the 50 percent or the, the the halfway through line shooting star still valid even in the three hours um, another shooting star in here if we want bearish engulfing here definitely and so yeah it looks more bearish than bullish at this point even though in a longer time frame it doesn't which is the thing that scares me I mean is it going to be bullish or bearish at the end and also we have this triangle here so we need to see whether or not this triangle would take us up or down okay if it takes us down and it goes up to here well except for the beautiful profit I think there is at least a 10-15% here yeah uh, beautiful profit but also nothing is lost if we want Apple to be bullish because you know it's still within this other triangle and as long as it makes new higher lows this usually is a continuation pattern so this means that it would keep going up and it would go up a lot which is the thing that concerns me a little bit in believing in this because it's a huge move up look at the hammers available here hmm. must check my candle chart candle, candle, uh, candle scanner it's quite frankly I think these hammers need to be filtered a little better okay now let me just remove the extensions so if this is a continuation pattern let me go on a longer time frame because it's a lot okay and let's say we have a breakout let's say here Okay, then let me go in a monthly. That means that the projection for Apple is not even enough on a monthly. The projection for Apple would be nearly $277, which is unbelievable. I mean, it's possible, which is very good, isn't it? If it does, if it does, we don't know. It's, I mean it's been going up for a lot and it's trending down RSI so there is divergence so it's really uncertain in my opinion I, I don't know how long it could go I really don't know how long it could go up that way um, one, one thing for sure I mean it is on an uptrend it's ever been on an uptrend look at the 55 EMA it's never been crossed once never been crossed down once not to mention the 55 the 233 in the daily probably there is a little bit of a crossover yeah there was a crossover which means that exactly it's not trending at the moment not on a daily but yep yeah, this is pretty much everything i have to say about apple so there is a potential uh downtrend here down rally but we never know because it's a crazy market so yeah we don't know if it's going to go up or down actually I have my own opinion regarding what's gonna happen and I've taken my own position I'm not going to reveal it I am not going to reveal it later probably or yes later I will reveal it if I've lost I will tell you I've lost if I won I will tell you I won I've lost with Tesla so I may lose with Apple as well, who knows, um, actually I've lost with Tesla because I had a very high leverage and I couldn't afford uh, 
losing more. So my stop loss was so narrow that I missed the chance because actually I was right. It was about to drop and it dropped. But yeah, it went up too much before dropping and I've lost like maybe 10, 10, 10 pounds, something like that, because these are my my stop losses. And usually my my precision when I enter a position, thanks to the swing trading bundle, is 0.03, 0.06%. So that's how wrong I am when I enter a position, usually. Uh, and that was enough for me to get kicked out <laughs> by Tesla, from Tesla. And I'm sorry because I've lost a 15% profit, which I have made with a huge leverage. It would be a lot of money. I've lost the extra chance. But anyway, it's fine. It's 10, 10 20 pounds loss at the end. It's not much. Um, okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you haven't. Let me know in the comments if you have. Again, please like, share and subscribe. I would really appreciate if you do. And I will see you next Sunday with an update. Bye-bye.